I'm gonna hit this intro Good. thing. Here we go. This is Naoki Yoshida. This is Fern Hall. And you are listening to s r i t e Radio. Aetherite Radio. Here we go. I don't know if I played the sound. <sighs> My gosh. You're fired. It played the sound. <laughs> okay, you can do it again. <laughs> it played、fair. the sound last time. And it actually it played the sound every time I hit it today while I was practicing. Practicing. <laughs> But it didn't that time? I didn't hear it. I don't know if it did or not. Well, okay, whatever. It's fine. It still plays a little flash thing. You know what the show is? It's all、hey, good. We're good. Whatever. Here we go. Oh, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> to A the right radio on Fusion X. Joining me today, we have、uh, Bryn, Zanidra, and a l d i a n o I totally didn't name drop the website. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a terrible one. Gamerscape.com. Gamerscape. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV podcast. Uh, today, we got a lot of stuff to go over. We had the、uh, live letter yesterday.、Um, we got some stuff coming up.、Uh, first, look how on top of things we are. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, look how great this is when I'm not in charge. We're actually getting things done. <laughs> It's great. I love it.、Um, real quick, though,、uh, something that did happen, I want to give a quick shout out.、Um, a couple weeks ago,、uh, I helped host a Final Fantasy XIV panel at KuboCon up in Vancouver with Mr. Happy.、Uh, so, thank you to everybody that attended. Uh, it was cool talking to everybody out there.、Uh, shout out to Mr. Happy. Shout out to、uh, Alex Mann over at Coupocom for that. I think they, I know they recorded it.、Uh, check out their, their site.、Uh, I don't know if they put out anything for that or not. But,、uh, so, yeah, that was awesome. So,、um, and then I guess real quick here、uh, Patch 4.3, as a lot of people were thinking, is going to be coming out on May 22nd. Yeah. Um, full day maintenance, all that stuff. You know, it's the big, the big maintenance, as、mm-hmm. it were.、Um, so, for 4.3, so far, what we know, there's a new, new main scenario quest, obviously, as there are with every single、mm-hmm. uh, patch. New Hildebrand. Love us some Hildebrand.、Yes. Hopefully,、mm-hmm. it goes full Hildebrand with these new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As, as John Crow says, full Hildebrand.、Uh, new Four Lords. We don't know what's coming on. Probably some kind of a phased battle.、Mm-hmm. Um, Namazu Beast Tribe Quest. They talked about these a little bit.、Mm. Uh, that mount. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. That mount's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. We'll, we'll talk like, about that a little bit here coming up. I can't wait.、Yeah. Um, This is just kind of the、Dolman. recap what they told us before.、Later、yeah, yeah. We're going to run down the details. We will actually get into details. Yeah.、Um, Domain Reconstruction.、Um, so we have a few new details about this. This will involve buying stuff from NPCs and selling things to NPCs.、Mm-hmm. Uh, Interesting. You got to reinvigorate the Doman economy. That's right. So, capitalism. Get them. Yeah. We are becoming、uh, the middleman.、Hmm. As if that wasn't our job already. Right. <laughs> yes. That needs to be a title from that, just the middleman、uh, or middle gopher.、Man. Gopher.、Um, I would say gopher as well.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, new dungeon, Swallow's Compass. We know about that.、Uh, new trial. We don't know what it is. We'll speculate a little bit here. I have some thoughts. I'm sure everybody else does as well.、Oh, yeah. uh, we're going to the Ritterana Lighthouse for the next Evilise raid. We've got the new Deep Dungeon Heaven on high. We'll talk about that a little bit.、Uh, looks really cool.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the new does.、Uh, Eureka、uh, Pagos Expedition. We got a little、Need、bit. Need QOL.、Uh, Need QOL. We got that. We got some, a lot of people、uh, scanning that trailer for, they have spotted a few things in the、oh, yes. uh, content.、Mm-hmm. Um, new Ultimate Battle. The weapons refrain with Ultima Weapon and maybe somebody else? Maybe.、Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. You have no idea. Like, I should have like, filmed myself reacting to it. Oh, man.、Ah! Oh, can、uh, we get Anonymous's response? <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Oh, gosh.、Uh, <laughs> PvP. I love、uh, <laughs> some of the breakdown. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead.、Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, like, just a few bullet points and we'll, we'll get into it.、Yeah. Um, new Feast HUD adjustment. s Our training grounds map revised.、Uh, Daily campaign rotation for Frontline.、Uh, for Glamour, we can take stuff out of the wardrobe now, which is really good. Makes me more comfortable putting、They're、things in the wardrobe. They're going to give us a Glamour plunger to take the crap out of our Glamour toilet. <laughs> I'm not sorry for that. No, no apologies. Okay. Okay.、Uh, squadron appearances can also be changed via the Glamour wardrobe.、Uh, performance updates we're going to get some new, some new instruments and stuff.、Uh, housing, we're going to get a message book added. Is that further down? I know they, they、yeah, showed it off. It's further down.、Mm-hmm. Okay. 
And there's that points, there's but we'll too talk much about to it. talk about. Yeah, it's, it's a book. All right. Yeah. Um, normal raids are getting added to the duty roulette. Uh, Thank you. Get, yeah. New custom <laughs> so delivery. So excited. Kira and I. Yeah. Uh, with, with Kira and I, with the custom delivery NPC, uh, you can dress her up once your bond is high. That's one of the first things they talked about when they introduced the idea of the custom weird. delivery NPC. Was like maybe you give them clothes and they wear, or like you make them equipment and then they wear the equipment. So, there you go. Uh, and cross world link shells. Apparently, we, um, we get one well. for now, and then they're going to start it off at sixty four for now. I mean, stress tests and all that. I'm just going to use it as uh, an on the same world link shell because I'm already full. <laughs> there you go. We'll have to we'll have to we'll see about getting a gamer escape on going yeah. for uh, yeah I think I'm being good primal for sure yeah for um, you primal guys hmm. I mean I'm on eighth there so it's same. like uh, well then then you make the eighth one yeah oh, yeah yeah we're yeah. totally different yeah um all right now we have a little bit of info uh, as we get into stuff job yes. adjustments yes. uh last live letter they're like there's gonna be job adjustments mm -hmm. we don't know what they are. But they will be. There will be jobs, and they will be adjusted. Uh, so we do have some more information on those now. Uh, Dark Knight, <laughs> no adjustments for Dark Arts. Uh, they're getting a potency increase, defense portion increased, um, and usability will be improved. Um, plunge buff, animation cooldown will also be reduced. Yeah, no more getting locked like a dragoon. <laughs> Hey. I don't know though, like the, hey. the one like, like cast dragoon. Okay. My no, my one my mm -hmm. one hope my one hope was that they would bring back dark dance and they and they did no oh, such yeah, thing and yeah. so it's like, and so Yoshi P on the Dark Knight said that he, he is aware of all the people's ideas and how mm -hmm. that the job should you know be be created but that kind of work would take six months and so based off of that it's probably not a uh, a four point X thing it's yeah. probably going to be a five point oh. Uh, kind of where they really kind of think about how the Dark Knight's going to play, you know, in, in regards. And I can respect that. I, I'm interested to see if these changes help bring uh, some of the pain points down. All I have to say is at least they didn't make you a caster. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that part. <laughs> and you had to wait all expansion. <laughs> yeah. they, wouldn't, they wouldn't make you a caster. That, that's what Rune Fencer's going to be for in 5.0. Oh, for sure. Starting the speculation right now, Rune Fencer. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll never forget hearing, for hearing that announcement in 11. Rune Fencer. What? What? Why don't we already? The magic tank? Oh. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> weird. Uh, updates for Monk. Um, they're going to get an enemy suppression skill. Um, but uh, the trade off is firepower when used. Yeah, so no one will ever use it, and your tanks will still have to build hate more. So enjoy. You have a button that you're never going to press. So tanks a please one. continue to tank. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Continue to ha have a ninja and shark and, and enjoy. Yeah. There you go. Continue to play your jobs responsibly. Um, <laughs> samurai. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, samurai's getting adjustments. Would they perhaps get utility? No. 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 Oh, no. The increases. No. Don't, don't give us. Don't give it. Don't give no. Sam utility. Make a, potency is perfect. Even, even yeah. more ridiculous. Yeah. Potency. Oh, they're so they're so good. <laughs> And it's, I'm so happy for this adjustment. It's I crazy. like Sam. I get you. You're like, like <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, I, and don't give me utility. Don't give Black Mage utility. No, our, there, our jobs are to melt things down, and we're not here to help yeah. you. <laughs> That's what the uh, board's for. Samurai, That's like, I'm slowly for. leveling Samurai. Like, I'll log in and do my dailies on Samurai. I've got like three levels <laughs> just doing <laughs> dailies for my Samurai. <laughs> um, they're also going to get, uh, so with the potency increase, uh, that basic combo potency will increase. Um, they will add some kind of entity control in one of their skills. Which they may need with all this potency increase. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then uh, they also hint at maybe some other adjustments as well. So we'll have to wait and see. Patch notes. There. God, I can't wait to get into a party. Like, just watch a tank and a samurai argue. Stop playing hate. Well, maybe you should tank. Well, maybe you should stop being so good at dealing damage. <laughs> <laughs> the nerve. Uh, Ninja is getting some updates here as well. Um, they will be getting uh, some usability uh, adjustments for what we assume to be deep dungeon. Yeah. Um, since, whatever uh, that means. Since they have, you know, stuff like uh, instant movement and invisibility, I imagine they're going to mm -hmm. modify those. Probably. Yeah, it could, be, it could 
could be that or it could be that their kit just doesn't feel good at certain levels because i don't know we're assuming that it's just like the previous i mean we'll talk about it later but you know mm -hmm. you'll be like level 62 in there and as an injury that doesn't feel good so. yeah no that, that could very well be i don't know we'll um that's true we'll find out uh black mage ethereal manipulation and between the lines animation adjustments yeah they're, it's getting faster right so you just yeah. theoretically you can, yeah. usually theoretically. usually anytime they do an animation adjustment it's because people are dying because of stupid things like dragoons with jump yeah exactly like it doesn't update <laughs> the position quick enough so maybe this is like i'm totally over here and the mob's like oh no you're oh, not now you're yeah. dead <laughs> <laughs> High titan. Long animations. That's that's how how Lil Durk developed. High titan. Yeah, yeah. High titan. <laughs> yep, yep. Titan's probably coming back Take too. Take that floor. We'll talk about that. Oh, oh yes. yeah. <laughs> uh, gosh, I'm not <laughs> excited. I don't do ultimates, oh, but like I'm excited about. I the, love watching the ultimate. I love watching <laughs> it. It is such yeah. a fun. It, it's like because it's like yeah, it's not content that we're gonna run, but it's content that is interesting and entertaining to watch. And mm -hmm. that's exactly what it needs to be. Yep. So it's always fun to, to cheer people on. To aspire to. Uh, mm -hmm. Scholar is getting pet usability adjustments. Hey. Hey. So hey. take that as you will. Could you put Summoner there too? Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it'd be nice if Gruta did that. I mean, faster. maybe. I don't know. Maybe, hopefully. It'd be nice if uh, Bahamut did damage I'm while sure. you were moving. <laughs> it's it's just it's just EOS that they're they're tweaking. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually is awesome. So good. It's actually just the little quality of life thing that we're going to talk about later. They just changed the little icon on the map. That's all. That's it. That's <laughs> you it is. Um, for exactly. the uh, for as awesome as Bahamut is, he is very clingy. You know, it's yes. like he didn't, yeah. It, it, there's a confidence issue with him, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess it's because we can make him smaller now, and he just doesn't feel he doesn't feel. <laughs> anymore but he's, he's he's big and mighty on the inside it's true yeah. like me let him know that <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny we got like eggy glamours in uh in 3.5 and hey, uh, it's been over a year and uh, nothing <laughs> anyway just saying which is yeah. which is funny because they talked about doing that forever and they're like we didn't have the system in place to do it behind the scenes to get the models and the animations paired up but now we do Nothing. <laughs> well, they even said it was like it's been, and they're like, "Hey, we'll we'll release new eggy glamours with the, the other patches." Well, okay. Yeah. We're we'll talk that. about the twenty-four man. Remind me about Summoner. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll do. Oh, yeah. I know exactly where you're <laughs> yeah, going with that. I can't wait. That was, <laughs> I had that thought. Yeah. Um, Astrologian. Uh, last but not least, here attack-based spells. Uh, the cast Definitely time will not be. Least. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Uh, light speed MP reduction effect uh, will be uh, going from 25 to 50. Nice. And uh, damage inflict down effect will be removed. That's so good. Nice. Uh, and then uh, expected Helios will be buffed. Mm. So lots of lots of good stuff for, for yeah. Mr. Logan there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Namazu dailies. Yes. I can't wait for these. Um, in Japan, um, because they like to make us jealous over in Japan. Uh, they are adding uh, plush Namazus into the Taito Crane games, mm -hmm. which look adorable. My wife's like, I want one. I'm like, OK. <laughs> I don't, I don't I'll see to, what I can do. To Japan. Yeah. Needs I, talk, to go I talk to some yeah, people. They'll yeah. see what they can do. But yeah. <laughs> but they're um, really cute. And they're really big. They yeah, they, they are. are. They're enormous. They are. Mm. They're, they're a pretty good size. Um, so the Namazu have decided that they want to host an Eastern-themed festival. And so that's what we got to help with. Um, yep. It sounds like it may not be uh, crafting, which it was is hard interesting. To tell from the uh, the translation that I read. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I feel like it would be crafting though, because right? we don't have it a crafting. It makes sense that it would be crafting, but what the thing said was subclasses. Yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking that well for subclasses, crafting Cla subclasses. I, think I guess it would be cla yeah, yeah, classes mm -hmm. for crafting than rather than so jobs. So we'll we'll oh, see. Yeah. Um, yeah. They said it's going to have a lot of dark humor, which is awesome. I think it'll yeah. be great. For for the Namazu. Hopefully they go full Hildebrand with the dark humor. <laughs> you gotta I'm make glad that they're bringing in Gathering as a part of that. So it's a crafting yeah. and Gathering uh, Beastman, you know, like type quest. Finally level. Which would, be, which would be interesting because I think a lot of, you know, when I remember when Stormblood was announced um, and they talked about the Ananta, they're like, oh, they like, they're goldsmiths and stuff. And everyone's like, yeah. there's the crafting Beastman mm -hmm. at least. But, well, I guess it could be like the Ixali because those were both for a while, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. did a little bit of gathering, a little bit of crafting. I think that would be a good fit. Yeah. 
Um, well, and, and same with Moogles as well with, with Heaven's Word. So, yeah, that's uh, right. You did Gathering I, I still need to I never I Moogles, because I, still I gave up. I never I finished like, Moogles. Oh, yeah. Really? So, I'm heading back one of these days. I just, I yeah, so it, 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 became a, it became a, uh, maybe one day. Like, <laughs> I'll do it later. Yeah. Uh, so, the mount for the Namazoo. <laughs> My God, it's um, we don't it's even your, like get in it, right? You just kind of hang on to the side. <laughs> so basically, you know, if you've ever seen um, any kind of like older period thing where you know people are carrying royalty around in like the little chariot, where it's not like on wheels, they're actually holding it. <clears throat> Take that, but then like put Namazu all around it. <laughs> it's like there, um, there are eight of them. It's yeah, like yeah, little it's like them. squiggly fish man. <laughs> and, they, and somehow they fly. I love, there was a, a post on Reddit talking about um, thinking about the Namazu. We have the, the picture there. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah. the, so the chariot flies, right? The Namazu aren't necessarily the ones flying. So when you're flying, they're probably just holding on for dear life. Yeah. Oh, but they don't fall. Those poor fish. Um, there will be. Well, which is funny because if if it flies, why do they need to carry it in the first place? Just, that, <laughs> that's that was. I think that was that was the, the last part of the Reddit post too. They're like, why are we doing this? So, uh, is it uh, flying by itself, or are they like just flapping their tails really fast? And that's what's I don't got know. Them off the to I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they say multiple mounts are going to be very noisy. I guess they make some interesting sounds. There's a custom BGM as well for this. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. And apparently, one of the Namazu's eyes are dead. Mm-hmm. Oh, like he's like got the like, like yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah. He's like, this is too much work. <laughs> very, very odd. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that mount. I just, I just got on an, an elephant in the Anata ones. Mm-hmm. I was doing those the other day, and I'm like, you know, eh. <laughs> like yeah. as a mount, I'm like, it's a white, like whatever. Yeah. But that mm-hmm. thing, I want that thing. It's, it reminds me a lot of the, uh, the goblin. Uh, yeah. Mount. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's like that, except yeah. with indentured namazus. Um, <laughs> no, they want to be there. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I mean, as far as we know, maybe they're just afraid that Lisa's going to like uppercut them into the atmosphere mm-hmm. again. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. They're like, please don't let that woman go full Hildebrand on us again. <laughs> again. The last one she we kicked up. He went, he went. He went. Actually, went into orbit before <laughs> coming back down. Um. All right, so that'll go into housing. Uh, so uh, one of the things that's coming with housing in 4.3 is a message book. Um, and there's going to be really cute. one for the outside and one for the inside. Mm. And this, this whole, I don't know, it seems so weird to me to even have this. I don't know. Um, I love it. I like, I, I will go and I'll go to visit somebody's house. I love to look at, at houses just to see what people have done. And That's sometimes fair. people do a really great job and I'll look to see if they're online to be like, your house is amazing. And they're not online. I'm like, Oh, yeah. I'll never it's tell just, you. It's now I can. About mm-hmm. one for inside and outside. Like, I guess, I guess. Your yard so you sucks, but the inside's very nice. Right. Like <laughs> is someone gonna passive, put you can leave passive there? aggressive messages. Can you imagine people? like you come in, you're like, you're checking the books and someone's oh, like, your boy. garden is terrible. And you're like, Oh, well, fine. And then you go inside. You're like, I love the desk that you have and the arrangement of the things on the desk. And you're like, okay, that's a little bit better. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's interesting. It's good. It's I think it's good content uh, to have. It's you know, and the fact is that they're also giving you points where you can like. Yeah. Recipe, and we don't know what the though? points are. For. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I don't Maybe know. Special housing. Stuff. That'd be cool. Oh, that's a good oh, point. My gosh. Somebody yeah. said uh, you can lock your houses, so the outside one is probably for that. Oh, okay, that makes That's sense. Well, point. thank you for that. Yeah. That that having been said, though, like you should be able. I think you should just have one on the inside, and if you don't want people to be leaving comments, just lock the house. Well, you can, uh, you can configure too. it so that mm-hmm. when people leave messages, then mm-hmm. they won't go public until you say uh, yes. So you so, can good. Yeah. yeah. So I guess yeah, you'll see uh, the message, but yeah. it won't be, you know, public unless you want it to be. Yeah, it'll only hurt your feelings. It won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, since the messages aren't limited, like I thought it was going to be a Dark Souls type thing, you know, like watch out for traps or your house is good, you know, yeah. but you can leave whatever <laughs> you want. So I think I think somebody needs to make a meal on all the servers just named like 
angry Namazu. <laughs> just keep an eye out for people that have houses when you see them flying around on that mount. <laughs> go over to their house and just leave a message from angry Namazu. <laughs> oh man. Don't do that. That's that'd be like harassment or That's something. That's gonna happen. <laughs> I mean Don't be do funny. It. Don't do it. <laughs> I feel bad now. Um so yeah, that'll be interesting. Like I don't know. I'm not excited about it. Like it's I it's know. kind of like a cool thing. I'm sure some people are. It. But I'm kind of yeah. like, all right. Like I don't know why we need this. Mm. It's a little weird. I'm it's looking cool. more forward to the mannequins. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, and of course, this change here: the number of aquariums allowed per home will increase. You want more nice. fish? Uh, you can have more fish. Yep. Do you want more but fish? But you can't have the same kind of aquariums. Like that. That's that bothers weird. me. Yeah, I, one would think you would want to make a wall of aquariums that are yeah. the same and kind of blur them yeah. together. That would be cool. You do it. So, that'd be cool. Uh, so, apartments and small houses can have up to six, mediums can have eight, and larges can have ten. I mean, that's weird. Are there even ten different aquariums? Well, I think I think if you look at the sizes and then you look at the interior that you okay. can do. I don't know if that's what they're talking about. Yeah, maybe. Different, like backdrop kind of things. Right, so. just increasing the, the amount of points or whatever they you have. They did just add like th two to four, though. There's a, okay. There's a few of them. Yeah, there yeah, were, yeah. There were like six, four or six, and then they added two or four more. So Yeah. We'll say there were six and they added four more, so you can have ten. Yeah. There you go. There yeah. you go. Um. <laughs> uh, they also shut off some new uh, furniture items that we're going to be getting, like a dodo lamp. Dodo lamp. <laughs> that's <laughs> outside the outside when you turn it on. Oh, is it? It what? As you say it when burp, burp when you turn, turn it on? on. <laughs> yeah. You turn turn the dodo lamp on, just go, Ugh. like, that would be awesome. Nice. I would buy this. Yeah. yeah. No. Who, needs, who needs more performance actions when you can just have a burping dodo lamp? Just auto tune that to whatever you want. I want a burping dodo mount. Ooh. Yeah. That one can fart, and that's how you fly. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Gosh. Oh man, uh, there's a picnic basket. It's so really if you wanted cute. To, so if you wanted to, to like glamour up like some Yogi Bear cosplay, <laughs> go, go grab yourself a nice picnic basket. Hey, hey boo boo. <laughs> I'm ashamed of you guys. Although there is a tiny bear uh, minion, you could have. Oh, follow you. I mean, no, I'm helping. I don't like it. Get get the bear mount. Get a bear mount. Get the bear minion. And then you dress up like the park ranger. Yeah. Oh my okay. god. That'd be perfect. <laughs> perfect. Yes. Oh, what oh, have I done? A Rogadin with like. That's our next. Name, our, like our next uh, bear. That's our next contest. It's uh, it's in-game cosplay as old Hanna Barbera cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Wally Gator? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Groupy the dog. <laughs> Miguel the gorilla. What have we done? Uh, I don't know. So many great things. Sovereign <laughs> uh, There's going to be a new uh, Ezim Step lamp. It looks like one of the little huts. It's so cute. I like Sorry, that. everything's cool. really I'm, cute, apparently. I might, I might have to get that to add to my kind of like figure collection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's one a of these days, back really nice looking around. cabinet with a stove top and like a little prep area. Mm. That's going to replace like, like, like three to, items in my nice house. To see that because yeah. it's one of those things where it's like they keep seeing people like you know glitch in the the housing system to make all these crazy elaborate setups, and they're like, maybe we should just give them a kitchen piece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe that that could help them in some way. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, getting a bucket and a broom, so you can clean up. Just don't let Mickey Mouse anywhere near it. Oh goodness. That's another cosplay. <laughs> they have the cone hats. Yeah. There you go. That's right. There you go. Uh, speaking of, speaking of cone hats, because I don't think we actually really talk too much about Eureka in here, do we? Um, we just saw a little bit in the trailer. Uh, somebody found an O hat. Yeah. In the trailer. Oh no. For, for yeah. You Eleven people out so there. So ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have the O hat, the scorpion harness. I mean. Yes. Oh yeah. The, 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 the boots. Dude, I like. I want a level ninja just because I could totally dress it up as like an eleven. Yeah. Thief. Like that's <laughs> so great. Um, we're going to get uh, some steamed buns that look like uh, some oodles or namazus, um, and then maybe a gold saucer hoops mini game. That'd be nice. Apparently... I just, I just want to. 
you get it from uh, the Gold Saucer event that'll come up in like June or whenever it is. Oh, the Make It Rain? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, that makes sense. I imagine uh, it's going I to still... cost a lot, so start oh, saving. Yeah. I still <laughs> yeah. want a glamour dresser furniture yeah. piece. Yeah, that'd be nice. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're probably still. Like, oh, yeah. Know, like, that's that's like if I if, if we get a chance to talk to Yoshida out at E3, like, where's our glamour dresser furniture piece? And, it's, yeah. and I know it's because of the, how it's tied to the armoire. I know that's the reason for it. Mm-hmm. But they've got to be. We had to wait a while for an armoire, too. So mm-hmm. we'll figure it yeah. out. We'll get it. I, I think it's something just like what you said. It's like, oh, okay, eventually it becomes, you know, that piece that can be crafted and then you can put in. And that, I think that's going to be valuable. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it, for the it, right now, it does make it you know actually go to an in room. <laughs> yeah. Remember in rooms? I remember in rooms. Mm. I, I logged out in an in room a couple weeks ago, and I woke up like getting out of the bed. And I'm like, oh, that was a thing. <laughs> I'd forgotten all about that. Man. Um, so they talked a little teeny bit about uh, the weapons refrain, which is the oh. ultimate fight with the Ultima weapon. Um, yeah. You will be fighting some of the primals in there as well. You'll start off with Garuda. Um, if you haven't seen the trailer for patch 4.3, go it. watch it. Mm-hmm. Because the end is by far one of my most favorite things I've ever mm-hmm. seen in a trailer <laughs> since 2.0 launch. Mm-hmm. We have a gentleman, his back turned to the camera with a gun blade. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking it's Gaius. Yeah. yeah, and that uh, that yeah. that fever is building. People, uh, they they've done side by side comparisons. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, everybody's getting on it. And and you know when mm-hmm. when when Anwil talked to uh, John Crow and and Ishikawa-san at PAX, you know that was something that they talked about, and they said that they were going to do something. Mm-hmm. And it looks like this is what it is. So hopefully, Yoshida's not like, oh yeah, sure, we'll kind of bring him back, but you have to beat Ultimate. Hopefully it's some kind of like a side quest thing. I don't think that they would block it out like yeah. that on ultimate. Um, but yeah, is is he alive? Is he dead? Is it some kind of flashback? What are we gonna see? The answer is yes. <laughs> yes, to everything. <laughs> well played. Uh, the new deep dungeon, Heaven on High. Uh, it's it's a lot of I think what we were expecting it to be. Yeah. There's not a lot of surprises mm-hmm. here. Uh, there will be new weapons. Um, they talk about different methods uh, for obtaining a weapon from Heaven on High. Um, talking about exchanging gear, or I'm sorry, enhancing gear inside Heaven on High. So that's exactly like what we had right. with uh, the other deep dungeon, right? Um, mm-hmm. It sounds like you'll be able to exchange uh, points for a token, and then you can exchange tokens for, for a weapon. Yeah. Okay. And they're. Well, and and <laughs> let, me, let me finish. This, yeah. it, it does make sense when you when we get to everything. Um, they're also making these adjustments to Palace of the Dead. So one of the big problems with Palace of the Dead and getting the weapon was you needed to build up your 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 eighth or strength or whatever to a certain point, and then you cash it in. Yeah. Now you can get uh, you can take that those stats, cash them in on a token, and then get tokens and use. Because one of the problems with Palace of the Dead is you needed to be you know, on certain floors in order to increase mm-hmm. those perimeters after a certain point. Mm-hmm. And that was always kind of a pain. You're like, oh, okay, like hopefully I get a chest. You get yeah. the plus one that I need, and yeah. then you don't, and then you have to climb it again. So that won't be a thing anymore, which is really nice. Mm-hmm. That's good. It just still sounds funny. So you take points to get tokens. You take tokens to get ribbons. You take ribbons to get strings. You take strings to get berries. And then eventually you get hungry and you go somewhere it else. Talks about it, like, well, it. <laughs> it talks about it like it's three separate what, ways. So yeah, even, theoretically yeah. you can use all of the ways to build up. Yeah, like if, if it's also giving you tokens, like, you know, like kind of the point, like you get points for just participating and then you clear the floor and you get tokens. And then you can kind of, if you have yeah. that, like I'm still waiting because I know, I remember, didn't USGP talk about how you could, like trade poetics for like the current tombstone or something like that at some point because it's like at some point it'd be nice that there was like a like you're sitting on these these currencies that they all kind of somewhat turned yeah. into one another right Instead oh you can even go the other way like oh i need poetics like oh let me just you know cash it down yeah, mm-hmm. it would be nice anyway. um hmm. there's 100 floors you knew that uh 64 and onward uh or i'm sorry level 61 onward 
uh, is what you're going to need for floors 1 through 30. Mm -hmm. um, floor 31, after that, is going to be designed as high-end challenges, whatever that means. So guess, basically you, know, you use 1 to 30 to do your leveling from 61 mm -hmm. to 70, and That's, 31 yeah. and onward is the stuff for people who actually just want to do content for fun. Mm -hmm. So that's the stuff that'll be actually hard. Yeah. Ish. Theoretically. Yeah. Maybe. And we'll it, see. It, we'll see what they're happens. They're planning on 200 floors with this, right? Like, so we get in the first 100 and then we'll get another 100 or something like that? Like, Probably. did I hear that? They, right? You know, I don't think they've ever announced if we're getting a, a, another batch of floors for this one. Okay. I, I just, just from the last one, it would seem like they would, but I don't know. I don't Not know. necessarily. Yeah. 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 We'll see. I guess uh, we'll find out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's, that's maybe something we can ask about. Um, there are new commanders. Uh, there will be um, some NPC so, commanders removed and replaced with innervation. Innervation. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, had a, I had a big brain fart. I'm like, what are these letters in this board? <laughs> there are too many E's. Uh, invisibility, which is probably going to go into ninja adjustments. Yeah, most likely. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, Petrification, which is a one-hit kill yeah. kind of so thing. You petrify it, you smack it, and it dies, which is pretty yeah, cool. So that, yeah. I like that. Instead of the um, Manticore and Succubus and what was that? Yeah, one? it's like your it's like your uh oh, Pamander. <laughs> exactly. Where they're like, let's just clear this floor now. Yeah. What so, was um, the third one that was an, an NPC? Oh, maybe they're there was like the it ain't the angelly thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I, I like I like I this. Though, it's like if somebody went Manticore, they'd get the one hit kill, but they have it now where the whole team just yeah. goes through, and it's just like, and that seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Which yeah, yeah. I mean that'll be a lot easier because that was a problem with yeah. with Pals of the Dead was, okay, you know maybe you have the map exposed already, but you know you get like all sorts of you get a really crappy map, and so you're basically just following whoever's the Manticore, up yeah. and around and whatever. Now you can just pop this and just everybody goes. <laughs> Run. So that'll be nice. Um, there are going to be allied NPCs mm -hmm. uh, in here as well. So we have Kominu, uh, who will increase damage dealt. Uh, Inugami, who will decrease damage received. And then you have a fat cat, Senri, <laughs> and that'll give you regen. Yeah. So that'll I be like cool. how they're using that. I like how they're us uh, utilizing, uh, you know, obviously. Uh, these uh, I forget why I'm drawing blank. The um, the four, but it's the oh, yeah. the, they're, they're uh, gods, right? They're all like the yeah. you know the yeah yeah whatever the hell. All right, there we go. Four lords, <laughs> four lords, four lords people. Thank you. I was yeah, like, the little four lords yeah. guys. Yeah, all the spirits. <laughs> all yeah. the spirits, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's awesome. It's cute. Real cute. Uh, there's also gonna be primal summoning inside of Heaven on High, which will be done via magicite found from silver coffers. You can have three at a time. Um, and this will be kind of in the style of classic Final Fantasy summoning, where you call it, it comes up, it hits stuff, and then it goes away. I'm glad we're seeing this. I hope this is a, a oh, they know has, has an issue with this. <laughs> <laughs> could I get? Could I? Could I do that? Could, could please I, take your. Yeah. Could that be summoner, please? Take the floor. No, no. I'm saying, could that be how summoner works, please? Oh, <laughs> until I wait. I don't. Maybe not the coffers. I don't know. I don't know. But could I? Could I summon? things have it come out do a big attack and go away wait wait as a summoner you want to summon as, i know wouldn't it be cool to not have a bat that's useless <laughs> I, 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 5.0 5. will get like elementalist or whatever that one job was <laughs> that'll oh, yeah. be your summoner oh yeah <laughs> you won't be I, I, mad or bitter I, I, or anything will no, you no. well no, even no. still like i like the the pet uh concept of summoner but it'd be really cool to be able to say like summer had that Almost kind of like their own limit, personalized limit break that would charge up, and then they could decide to right. uh, expend it at, at any point, and then go from there. Because that that would be cool. I'm yeah, glad to just see just, just add magic combos, and at like the last combo, you just see a quick different I mean, pop up, smack something, and go away. That's one of the things that I miss the most from Eleven is the skill chains and combos because it made it gave you another level to the whole battle system. But it it was turn based. It was well, not really turn based, but it was slower. So. Yeah, it's much slower. It's much yeah, slower. That's one yeah, of the things. Like, not to not to jump in on a Eureka hate train, and then we talk about <laughs> quality of life. Yeah, one of the problems is kind of like, train. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's, uh, it's like you're, everything's happening so fast that some of the systems in place are just like, well, yeah, in eleven this worked because mm -hmm. I'm attacking and then I can talk, you know, and then I'm charging up and then I'm you know doing an ability. 
but like i'm like oh my gosh i'm rezzing 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 i'm like i have no time to invite anybody to a party but with but with the nm train you can do whatever you want and that's why we have so many bear puns that's true <laughs> yeah, so i can't i can't wait to see what Did kind of see? puns we get do you see the uh, new smush because people always do numbers and bears at the same time numbers oh numbers wow. yeah okay oh, it's wow. good i love it that's uh wow. That's my favorite part of Eureka. By the way, I've done uh, two and a half characters through Eureka now. Nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've done like one <laughs> and a little bit. Do, they do yours too? I, yeah. I, I, I have, I'll probably I, go back I, when I, if I get summoner back up, but or I need two. I, I need two or up. three quality of life adjustments in, in order for me to to kind of go and actually spend time in there comfortably. I've uh, I've watched a lot of movies. Um, <laughs> It is a Netflix and a Eureka, you know, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. All right. And there's nothing wrong with it. I just, like I said, there, if I, I, I go in as a healer just because I'm just dropping reses. Same. And yeah. I can't, like, form a party or anything like that. What I need is the ability just to set a party and say joinable. And so anybody can come in and be like, oh, yeah. Because right. it, it always happens. Someone's going to leave. You, you get eight people together. Someone's got to go. And then it's like, I can either heal or I can try to find a replacement. And that's just not that's my biggest question, I think, right now with Pagos is obviously, and we talked about this a little bit on the last episode with, mm-hmm. you know, how they intended Eureka to be played versus what we've done to it. <laughs> exactly. um, I'll be curious <laughs> to see if they adopt our play style into to Pagos or if it's going to be the same thing. And we're just still going to go and be like, no, nah, we're not doing it that way. We're going to do it our way <laughs> and just train exactly. everything again. What I found really interesting. It was uh, having to to start a, a new character in there is actually kind of difficult because yeah. what mm-hmm. you basically yeah. do is jump on the train. And if you jump on the train, you don't get regular protean crystals. And if you don't get right. one single protean crystal, you can't start the quest lines, basically. You can, uh, you can solo that easily enough, though. <laughs> I feel like. It takes a long, long, I mean, long if, time. If you have RNG on your side, yeah. anyway. You have to <laughs> level sink. <laughs> level sink. the train to go do cactars. Because then that you'll get there crystals you from it, yeah. Because it's like level one or three or something, right? Because I think you'll still get no, crystals. Cactar is level one. That's why nobody does it anymore. Yeah, yeah. Beg them to do right. it. Right, and that's where it's like it yeah. would be really cool to see like a level sync feature in which that like if you're going to go in, hey, let's all you know get together. Yeah, we're good. Because yeah. I have it I'm already. Forward to Pagos, but we'll see. Yeah, and that ties. I, I want to know what other glamour in. pieces are dropping. In, oh, in yeah. Pagos. oh, from Pagos. <laughs> I want that uh, that really black cool. mage body. With all the like tattoos and beads and stuff all over it. Oh yeah. Think oh, oh, oh 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 oh. Uh, yeah yeah. Go ahead. I can't remember what it's called, but I know it came out with COP. Is that weird? <laughs> no. <laughs> it reminds me I of want... Yagudo, but I know it wasn't from them. No. It uh, me of... uh, I know exactly the one you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because everyone wore yeah. it. <laughs> so we I just I just want my home. Mm-hmm. I just want home mom. If I get home mom gear out of Eureka, like I will be good for glamour forever. He said, he said, so I was going to say that like with Pogus, do y'all think we're going to see, uh, you know, four more, uh, you know, uh, what versions Icaro of Eureka? West kit. Represent? Oh yeah. yeah. The West kit. Oh yeah. I don't know if they're yeah. going to do all four Sorry. because. I, no, you're good. I, I'm just curious from the elemental perspective. Cause it's like each one. I think we will, because we still have 4.4 and we still have 4.5, and then we'll have part, presumably, right? We'll have parts 1 and 2 for 4.5. Part 2 will probably have Eureka to kind of keep us going until 5.0. I'm crossing my fingers actually for 4.6 and that Omega doesn't end in 4.4, but it ends in 4.6. Oh oh my God. So so yesterday I wake up. Okay. And I was like, oh, right. There was a live letter. Because I I, I can't, it's hard for me to stay up for these things anymore. Uh Um, I'm old. And so I'm checking my email before I go to Twitter, yeah. and I see this email from Square Enix PR. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII Sephiroth coming to Final Fa- and it cuts off, and I was like, no. no. <laughs> and then I click on it, and it's like, Brave XVS. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, like, I think it'd be great to see Sephiroth come in with, uh, with no. Uh, Omega. No, we're not. Yeah, we're going to go, like, gonna go to Altamisia's Castle, no. and it's going to be great. That's what I want. I want Ultimacia's castle, please. I, I didn't even have that idea. Hey. You planted that idea into my head, and now that's all it. I want. I want it. I, I know oh, it's not going to happen, but I want it. What were we even talking about? I hope they skip we're seven and just do eight and Omega just to like. Oh. This is why we have yeah. an outline. Right? Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> oh, we were in the middle of heaven on high. That's right. <laughs> we, were talking, we were talking. It started with summoning, and then we went into yeah. That's, oh, yeah, that's my fault then. <laughs> and I'm sure we'll come back to it again. So oh, yes, don't worry. <laughs> uh, performance. We know that they're adding some new stuff. Uh, they're going to expand the keyboard layout that they added for that. Uh, mm -hmm. We are going to get an oboe, a piccolo, a clarinet, a flute, and a pan flute. Ooh, just row, tell lovers rejoice. <laughs> <laughs> what is that face? Um, is that it? it was just so random. I I love it. Um, I love I love this one. Some notes that sound terrible will also be fixed. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> I want I want Sokin to add uh uh God what's the the thing he played at at the JP? Tiny piano? The the little weird mouth thing. Oh, oh. the yeah. the automophone or whatever yeah. whatever yeah. that I think that's it. Yeah. I want that in yeah. performance. I I have almost bought one of those so many, many times. <laughs> <laughs> you buy it, you just play it once, you're like, I'll just put this over here now. Um you can also hold the key, and the note will keep playing and fade away after a little bit. So that's cool. Lots of performance options coming yeah. and adjustments. Um, accessibility mode. This is awesome. This is always something I've liked with Final Fantasy XIV, um, is they're always doing stuff for um, people with like colorblindness or you know hard of hearing, oh, stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. They're going to adjust the color spectrum of the game for people with disabilities and allow people to adjust the colors to their liking. That's, mm -hmm. that's a bonus. Awesome. Deal what most i don't know that yeah. i've seen a game that does that actually like that can change the entire hue some some games have a few yeah, different exactly. like yeah. colorblind settings yeah. like i know for for some reason the only one that comes to mind right at the moment is destiny destiny has it right mm -hmm. um they have a couple Ooh. of presets but this is like you can yeah literally, <laughs> wow. so awesome um destiny's I, I only remembered that and brian's gonna hate me for this because i actually logged in the other day to play Warmind. No, I don't. I, it's, I, it, I, I, I had already <laughs> bought it, so I figured yeah, I might I, as well. I bought, I bought it as well back then, like when it all <laughs> yep. launched. It's like it too. the um now, but I, it's not the Destiny cast. Continue with Final <laughs> Fantasy. We'll keep that for the <laughs> Destiny podcast. Yeah. Well, it's but like That's just as, as a final note. Well, it's, as a final note, though, it's it's interesting to see the comparison of one point to two point oh and sure. Destiny one to Destiny two. It's like right. it is a case, it is a case study from a game from game yeah. design. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Just like, for oh, sure. Anyway. <laughs> Brian's book will be out next year. You can pre-order it. Speaking of, of things we it's don't care about too much, spend. but we'll probably have to talk about anyway, the Feast Regional Championship 2018. <laughs> so nice. who, anybody on Aether who wants to team up and form a party, I'm, yeah, we're, right? I want to form a team. I'm not saying we're going to win. I'm just going to say we're going to try. Yeah. And, yeah. I'm in. I'm, if you're on Aether, let me know. So uh, pre preliminaries are going to start in June for this. Uh, semifinals will decide the champions from each data center, and then eligible members will be invited to the finals at Fan Festival. Uh, yeah. And of course, Square this is Enix. Why I want to do it. They're going to cover. It. Yeah. You just want a free ride at Fan Fest. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. look. No, if no. there was ever an incentive to actually do PvP, it's a free you ride. Go. You get a free free travel. That free is travel. very expensive from where I am from. Lodging. To Vegas. Yeah. Lodging. Yeah. Yes, a hotel. Yeah. Yeah. And the festival uh, itself. Yeah. All you yeah. have to do is feed yourself. If if I was like Ethis or if I was anybody in Australia who plays this game, <laughs> yeah. this is what I'm doing. Like, John, I'm in, you know? Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Besides that, there uh, is a different prize, but we don't know what it is yet. We don't know what the prizes are. I hope it's, I think it's, a, wonder, uh, it's a scarf of wonder split. We all know it. Come on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's got to be a call. Uh, they've done like signed art prints and stuff. In yeah. the past, for that kind of stuff, I um, want them to give. Or maybe I'm thinking about the art contest. Trophy and in-game stuff would be nice because then you keep making people want to do it. You know, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So here's the challenge with the uh, Feast Regional Championship, though, is that um, when it happens, like, are are they going to have tickets and stuff go on sale before like this happens and before we know who's going for free? Because like, not assuming that I'm going to get in a winning thing at all but it'd be like oh i've already i'm buying tickets like i'm not waiting around to, yeah. in, in a in a perfect world square enix would refund the ticket yeah for I'm fan fest not, but, pro but probably not travel. travel's a little trickier yeah but i they potentially could i don't i'm not saying they are but that's really the only thing that they would do for you i yeah. think i mean I, you, could, I, you could cancel your hotel 
but yeah, it, you can't get out of a flight really. So that's yeah, yeah so they don't they don't, they don't, they don't get money. <laughs> they're like, well, you know, we'll get you a hotel, we'll get you a fan fest ticket, and then uh, please spend all the rest of that money at the merch booth. So yep. yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Uh, Return to Evil is part two. Yeah, going to the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. I um, love. So let's, I love this content. I'm should we just that. get the summoner stuff out of the way first sure. here? Yeah, sure. <laughs> then you want the that, that very if firm, it, like not. If sure. it's the same, if it's the same thing, I'm thinking of, and I think it probably is. Yeah. So, the bosses for the Return of Evil East raids have been espers for Final Fantasy XII. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for Riddle the Lighthouse, um, one of them is Bellius. Hey, that's a name that I We've know for some reason. We've already seen Bellius in the game during the Summoner quest, and he yeah. was an Ifrit egg So, WTF. What is up with this? Like, yeah. I don't, I don't, I, Sometimes I mean, people have the same name. Okay, so it's just it's, it's like... <laughs> It's like uh, a relation, you're saying? Like, Be <laughs> Bellius is the last name? So it's just different Bellius, don't worry. So, you know, it's, it's you know, the, the adventurers, they stumble upon him, and they're like, man, this guy, you know, if we had to call him something, he feels like he kind of he kind of reminds me of that legend of Bellius. Remember that yeah. kind of elder primally fire thing? Let's just call him that, kind mm -hmm. of like how we named uh, Shinryu. Shinryu yeah. is make could be actually not Shinryu, His but it's name. named yeah. that because of some people over in Alamigo and they saw him going crazy. They're like, I think that's Shinryu. That it's could be Shinryu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shinryu, yeah. Shinryu, and Shinryu the whole time is like, dude, my name's Greg. <laughs> Why is everyone yeah. calling me this name? <laughs> Gilgamesh is like, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we saw in the trailer, you know, there's Bellius, there's Famfrit. Um, yes, the guy with the water jug mm -hmm. looked to be worker eight from Tactics, or Construct eight, the like side quest robot. Game. That one I'm, I wasn't I sure of. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. 100 on that one. I could I I, I recognize I Tactics. I couldn't think of the name. I'm like, oh yeah, I, that's a thing. I remember yeah, him from a thing. He's yeah. yeah, he's 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 one of the things. Well, you know. Um, yeah, it looks really cool. They also showed yeah. off um some of the the gear that we're gonna be getting from the lighthouse. Um, lots of, again, uh, inspired from tactics and, you know, really stuff. Um, like the archer gear is going to be like from out of tactics. Mm -hmm. Um, they also showed, um, one of the pieces of gear will be kind of like Vaughn stuff, uh, yeah, his yeah. costume. Which is Revenant mm -hmm. Wings. weird. Yeah. From, from Revenant Wings. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's funny because a lot of people are like, oh, is this for like, you know, like a 24 month veteran sub? I'm like. Those are done. I don't know <laughs> where you've been. Um, we don't do I was that thinking um, mm -hmm. maybe they felt like they didn't have enough um, gear sets on the last uh, mm -hmm. part, mm -hmm. the third part. So maybe yeah. the gear sets for the last uh, third part will be all the other characters, and they just put mm -hmm. Vaughn yeah. in this one because they couldn't fit him over there. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Which would sense. be preferable, yeah. I think. I would like to dress up like Balthier or maybe Fran. Yeah, and you know, Balthier's one of the weaker characters of 12 anyway, so. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know that, that was like one of the comments. People were like, who cares about Vaughn? Like, why yeah, exactly? Like, Balthier. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean. Balthier and, and Bosch, man. Anyways, I think it'll be interesting, too, with the, the story. Obviously, we know that there's they've incorporated a lot of stuff from Tactics and 12 and stuff. Um, if you go back and watch this trailer, we see Judges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and we also see there's a, a picture probably from one of the cutscenes with Ash and uh, whatever that guy was that she married and then he died Rassler? right away. I can't. Rassler? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see like a quick uh, bit, like art illustration with with them. So obviously they're going to bring that story up, which makes sense for the lighthouse because yeah. of what happened in the lighthouse in 12. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. That should be cool. I'm looking forward to, to more of this to see how they kind of weave things in. Um, let's see. I, I didn't even look at the outline. It was just stuff I knew that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> um, IGN did an interview with uh, Matsuno-san. Um, they talked about uh, the team um, working on uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy XII. So there's a lot of attention to details with everything um, in Return to Evil East. Um, there were also a lot of comments about Crystal Tower, um, mm -hmm. that it was too long-winded, and so when the Void Arc series was made, it was done to be compact. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, they you know, received the order for Ivalice, and they're like, let's do Void Arc, and we'll kind of make it a little bit more compact and tight instead of just this long-winded thing. Um, 
The story is going to reveal the links between the first episode of Return of Evil East and resolve what's left. They want you to read the upcoming scenario and the dialogue slowly and enjoy them. Uh, they say that the quality is going to be similar to main scenario quest. So apparently they put a lot of work into this. So read it. Please, go do it. Don't please rush your please. friends or you're yeah. not friends. Yeah. <laughs> go do it. Please. Please. Yeah. On. I, I, in a, in my, in the back of my mind, the more people that do this, the more likely they are to throow money at, <laughs> at Mitsuda so that he makes Final Fantasy Tactics too. Just, yes. That, that's in my brain. I'm hoping, I'm, I'm with you 100% because <laughs> I'm hoping that his relationship and him working closely yeah. says, hey, how do we also do this other thing? And that would be a brilliant idea. Give him that was, Yeah, that was part of the Q&A a too. Somebody was asking mm -hmm. about that. And they're like, yeah. ask the CEO if you want another tactics. Like, <laughs> How? What is his phone number? I will call him right now. Yeah. I'm on it. The, uh, the thing is, is that when you look at the sales, like that game sold insanely well, you know, and it's like, I can't, yeah. under, it, it's, the, and, then, and then even the GBA games are good games, you know, it's like, they're not like, I love I, Tactics Advance. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So and, it's, and so I'm sitting here just like, man, like it's been a long, long time um, yeah. since we've seen that, that series. And he was actually like working on as well. He has a Kickstarter and they've yeah. been doing updates and they were trying to make something like that. And it I remember was supposed that. To come out, yeah. Well, it's supposed to come out a while ago, and it got funded, and I don't know what it is, but what it is. Nope. Like, oh man, yeah. I would love to see. I would love to see his relationship with fourteen spin into yeah. Yeah. E uh, either was, a remaster or like a, a sequel. That was yeah. what Project Phoenix, I think they called that one. Yeah, it was. Yep. Mm -hmm. They got thirty-five dollars yeah. for me. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, they. Wait. I'm trying to remember exactly what happened, but I think it ended up getting mismanaged at the end because they had to switch to a company or something like that, and it just it just all fell apart. Yeah, they put out a game in between to try and build money, and I don't know how well that did. So. Not good enough, apparently. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I don't doubt him when he says that it's going to be the same quality as Main Story Quest because we've seen Tactics and Tactics Advance. He can write something. Yeah, good. yeah. And all the, all the character dialogue and stuff, too, that oh, we're going to be so seeing good. in this patch um, is written by him. Yeah. So. Personally. Yeah, can't wait. It'll be good. At least the stuff um, by Ramsa and the characters that are related directly mm -hmm. to tactics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they get like the seal of approval. He knows how they're supposed to be talking, and mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So the Final Fantasy Tactics podcast is three weeks from now. <laughs> <laughs> we just have all these like random like specific podcasts. We're just gonna be like, yeah. We have to write them down and actually show up. I'd be like, all right, guys, ready for a blah blah podcast. <laughs> Number one. Yeah, we have a get to when we get to the three. podcast. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, What's it called? Oh, it doesn't matter. We only did one episode of each. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, they did have uh, Yasumi Matsuno on to do a little bit of QA. He was their special guest for uh, for this live letter. Um, so they so were talking about. <laughs> little, little, well, I mean, there's, there's an amount. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so going back behind the scenes, Return of East, kind of how it happened. They said in January of 2016, um, they were talking about maybe having him participate in 4.0. Then in April came the official announcement. Um, he gave them basically three ideas, a story based on tactics, a story based on 12, and then a new story. Um, obviously, tactics was chosen, uh, chosen for this. He decided on the scenarios because of the 25th anniversary. Um, in October, the plot line was submitted along with the dungeon and boss count which was this is like October 2016, right? Yeah, yeah. 2016. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so that was that was the same as Mach as that series. Um, they had a few goals that they wanted to reach. The story has to fit within the 14 world, obviously. Um, it had to fit within three chapters, which means we're only getting three parts. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah. in case people are wondering about what patch we're going, there's three parts for the raid. So. Um, and then it had to fit, uh, or and players who didn't know tactics could still enjoy it. So if you've never played tactics, you're like, I don't know who Ramza is. It's fine. I'm that you don't need know. any backstory. But if you do know about it, you're going to enjoy the content probably a little bit. You're going to so. vibrate the entire time that you're playing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was really I mean, fun to play that with like Charles and our friend Castus and a couple of other people who had played tactics because they're just squealing the whole time. <laughs> oh, it's so and so. Oh, blah blah's happening. I'm like, okay, that's 
<laughs> that was cool. yeah, that's why I saw Avengers twice opening weekend. So you yeah. still get people that hadn't seen it yet. Yeah, um, freaking out. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Um on the fourteen hour broadcast that they had last year, um Agrius was said uh it may or may not appear in the game, but then Yasumi later said that he didn't wish to bring it in. Uh and never said that before. So is it possible for the Agrius to appear? He says uh, he restressed that the concept is that uh, it has to match with 14. So Ramza and Alma and 14 are Garleans, and not from past titles. Their models are new. So creating a new model and a concept to fit 14 for, uh, for Agrius would be difficult uh, and cost a little bit more money. He asked the person who uh, asked the question, considering that we have the here in 14, do you want to see Agrius as a, in a, in a here, setting. here in setting? That's weird. Um, that, is weird. that is weird. Also, if they do want it, they have to negotiate with Square Enix CEO for this. <laughs> can I can I answer this question with a go yes. for it, <laughs> please? <laughs> yeah, we just, we just want to run through all these like we did with the last Q and A. Yeah, seriously, like yeah, <laughs> yeah we could. Prima do. Vista has a lot of NPCs. <laughs> we asked to be want to create side stories for people on the Prima Vista. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> but they want to flush it, uh, flush them out uh, on subsequent passages. I mean, so they're contained in Return right. of Evil East. They'll be well, you know, explored in that. Mm-hmm. Um, it was fun exploring Rabbit Oster because of different routes and the interaction gimmicks. Uh, what should we expect for the second part? Um, they won't reuse the same things that they used in Rabbit Oster. Um, of course, there will still be some fun stuff. Uh, the boss battle is mm-hmm. created by Mr. Ozma, so please look forward to it. Oh, yeah. Get ready. <laughs> I oh, like how he got named Mr. Ozma. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He probably that likes person. it, too. It's like a badge of honor. Uh, <laughs> uh, question number five. I want to fight Yazmat. Will you make a Yazmat boss? Answer. Hmm. With, like, 12 Actually, hands. answer. It's already in there, but we're not supposed to talk about exactly. it. <laughs> you, can't, you can't do it without Yazmat or Ultima. You know, like the two, like twelve, and then no tactics. Ultima, I could see them maybe straying away from, but you know, something similar. potentially with Ultima weapon, unless they tie it into Ultima weapon. Well, they'll just somehow. change the U to an A. It's Ultima, you know. It's Ultima. Oh, Ultima, <laughs> Ultima. <Yeah. laughs> there we go. That's yeah. right. I forgot about that. Um, how are the bosses decided? Um, they were created based on the overall plot. Uh, so Yasumi uh, chose the bosses based on personal preferences. And then Amamiya designed those once Yasumi was done picking them out. Mm-hmm. Um, People can want we the get Ramza the and Alma outfits. Right. They're cute. Maybe. They might eventually. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's, and it's, you know, looking at like, you know, we were talking about like the, the costume for Vaughn. Yeah. Um, I think it would be a good idea for them to because now that we have we've gotten rid of veteran rewards we have this new kind of weird token system um and i mean people are gonna have like a million more tokens than they will things to spend on Mm -hmm. so they should be flooding that yeah with stuff if we have you know an evil east raid come out throw in von's costume into that throw in a balthier or Mm -hmm. a vera minion or you know something like that like oh man uh, you know, obviously, that it still is development costs and stuff, but give us more things in that to to buy. Mm-hmm. And stop putting um, it in the cash shop. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, we have the. the I said it. Points. Let's do it. It's like yeah. we got the. I, we got I the would be fine. I would be fine if it was anything. like if the things they added to the cash shop had like an extremely low percentage chance of dropping in game. You know, just sure. so, oh, you know, it's like, all right, it's in the twenty four man. It's a glamour item. And there's a real low chance it drops, and then you're also competing for the roll. Or if you yeah. want to buy it, go for it. Like it's yeah. just a glamour. But anyway. it helps though. Mm-hmm. Like when you know, like just the other day, they released the uh, the angel and demon costumes from I think it was the Chinese version. Korean, yeah, Chinese or Korean? Uh, yeah. Korean. It's it, one of those. You know, yeah. um, <laughs> and that's 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 an easy one because I think they're ugly as hell, and so there's no way I'm gonna even be tempted yeah. to drop money on them. So that's easy. <laughs> and, then, and then like a couple weeks before, we had that was. Uh, another Korean thing with the the costume they had there, it looks kind of cool. But then you turn it around and it has like a weird tail thing on it. And you're like, I'm good. <laughs> They're making it really easy for me because I just don't think any of that stuff looks good. And I'm not paying like 18 bucks for a for a freaking like a little hoverboard firewheel mount thing. That's 24. 
The outfit 20... is 18. Wow, I didn't oh even... God. Oh, because it's like Odin. Or, uh, Ridiculous. Like there. Yeah. Ridiculous. Crazy, crazy. Very expensive. Very um, expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, they want to include uh, SRPG gimmicks from Final Fantasy Tactics <laughs> in the 14. They're like, what? How would we even do that? I love that. Uh, the response is, what? How? Huh? <laughs> I'm like, no. Yeah, so... Uh. That's, that's probably not happening. Um, go play, uh, go another, play. Don't give them another Lords of Verminion idea. Yeah, exactly. Go play Verminion. We, we already got go. one, though, because we got the little spinny finger pointer. Because remember, it mm. had facing, and so they put it into the game, yeah. the facing thing. Yeah. So, I don't know. We got one. We're that's good. my favorite that's mechanic. Uh, yeah, so good. You know, like, the, the first couple times I had issues with it, but now I'm, like, I'm pretty good with it. So yeah. like whatever. Every now and then it kills me in 07. As as long <laughs> yeah. as long as they don't put that in the savage content. It's well, in there. Late, it's in it. Yeah. It's Is it? There. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's in 07. 07. Oh. Uh, Guardian. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, it's not too bad as long no. as you don't end up in the wrong place running the wrong direction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like if you know Which it's happens. coming, like you can it's manageable. Yeah, you know, you yeah. can do it. You just hey, need to kind of clear your mind for a second, take a breath, and say, I want to go that way. If you're really bad at it, here's a pro tip, I, I guess. Have your paladin cover you, because it doesn't affect you if you're covered mm-hmm. for the thing that sends it out. There you go. <laughs> just, you know. There you go. Uh, I never get covered. I've started, yeah. like, standing away from everybody else, though. So the beam so usually points at me. someone else, and I can just stay put, not have to move. Uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, another question here. Uh, Return to Evil East contains a lot from Tactics to 12, but will they also include Tactics Advance? Also, waiting on a Tactics Advance sequel. Did they the make a sequel? They did. Yeah, Tactics Advance Advance too. Too. I thought they did. Yeah, okay. So they, they want another one, I guess. Yes, uh, or just <laughs> more into the Again, screen. Again, please ask the Square Enix CEO. <laughs> uh, hey, our... Square Enix CEO. Yeah. <laughs> Very intense face. Yes. Um, as far as tactics goes, um, he was the producer, uh, but the game was also done by uh, Murasawa and Minagawa, um, so they would want to request them for that instead of Yasumi. Mm. So. Yeah. I like how he specifically like ask these people go, please go. <laughs> yeah. These these are the people. It is not me. Ask them. <laughs> um, what kind of details um, does he take note of when writing scenario and dialogues? For return to Evilis. Uh Yasumi just writes them down as he feels like, uh, but re- recently due to the technological advancement, like using voices, um, he wrote them down under the impression uh, that there's also a voice. So mm-hmm. the writing's a little different from the era when there weren't voices. So like in the Super, uh, you know, Super Famicom era, so Super Nintendo era. Um, mm-hmm. With that difference in technology, the details of movement in the characters has also become more complex. So he writes them accordingly. So probably... You know, you're not just sitting there talking. It's not just a face in yeah. the corner with a window. It's the character moving and expressing. Mm. And so it's a little bit more involved. Um, any references and influences for your work? Um, he was influenced by Shakespeare when it comes to literature influences. Um, back when there were any video games when he was little. Uh, so we read a lot of novels and theater literatures. He wrote... Uh, under the impression of a small-scale theater play because of cost limitations. Uh, and Yoshida commented further that the game development is always about how to work around things with a limited cost, um, but also to follow the rules given. Mm-hmm. It's interesting that, that he says... I think that shows, looking back at tactics. Yeah. yeah. I think that's, that's pretty evident, yeah. I was going to say it's interesting that uh, he named Shakespeare as an influence, and then this story has its beginnings in a theater yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh when creating games what is the thing that you prioritize and treasure the most deadlines (laughs) (laughs) Uh, and he says of course the feeling of playing it um where the players you know have to be having fun when they play the game uh so the challenge is is to make it fun and have a a good atmosphere but also deadlines (laughs) i love that answer um aside from the story uh, what is something that you like about 14? He says, uh, I really like the story, especially where Alpha No um, gets despaired, but, you know, kind of stood up and, and changed for the better. Uh, Yoshida took special steps to flesh out Alpha No more. 
um, like the dialogue to include and in its character development and its growth. See, like how the what? question is, except for the story, what do you like? I like a lot of things, but mostly the story. Mostly the story. Funny. I I love the crap that Alfino gets about swimming. Oh yeah, in Stormblood, <laughs> and the money issues, and how they always like find a way to like work it back in each patch. They're like, eh, you can't swim, can you? <laughs> no. It's funny because to me, Alfino, uh, Alfino and Alice are both tactics like characters. Like they mm-hmm. they feel to me like the younger characters in tactics. They're they're kind of you know worldly, knowledgeable. You know that kind of they they just speak like I think the characters would speak. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, that's weird. I I, I I guess I thought that yeah that that makes sense that, that he likes that you know yeah he writes yeah uh, what do you want to tell Yoshi P <laughs> so what do you what do you want from Yoshida uh, Eureka improvements he wants Yoshida to improve on Eureka he's um, like your soulmate other party members yes. if they get too yes. far away uh, and he wants Yoshida. more quality of life improvements <laughs> Yoshida That's feels funny. pressured and Stephanie San says that he's looking forward uh, he's looking. Uh, at the, what? Oh, yeah. that's not English. <laughs> oh yeah, it's this is looking at things from the player's point of view. So deal with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yoshi P was like, "Oh, you're you're gonna put me under the gun about this?" And he's like, "Look, I'm a player. I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah. it sucks. <laughs> Let's fix it." <laughs> uh, what kind of game do you want to develop other than return to Evil East content in fourteen? Um, if there's a chance to liberate Dalmasca, he would like to write the scenario for it. My God. Um, <laughs> when asked whether it be a story or content, he answered story only. Uh, and then Yoshida frustrated because he wanted him to be involved in the content. Yoshida suggests the war scenario out of Dalmasca, like a war type raids. Um, but that's just an idea. It's just an idea. It's just something he just kind of floated out there. Just like when Yoshida talked about return to Vanadil. It's probably yeah. not a thing. Don't worry yeah. about it. Please yeah. make return to Vanadil. <laughs> uh, what's the biggest motivation for him when working uh, user response putting sales aside um, what the users love and what the users hate feedback yeah. uh, and then the last question here um, if you're given another instruction from Yoshida uh, you know like do this would you he says no I wouldn't do anything for Yoshida uh, but if he does he'd rather have him asking people younger to do it Instead, <laughs> he says if he was uh, asked to restore the elemental system in 14, he'd do it. <laughs> Ooh. No, 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 that's okay. We don't, we don't need that. And the elemental system, if it was restored, would ha- you'd have to do a whole battle system. Yeah, oh, there'd be so <laughs> much. Oh, my gosh. Black mages everywhere would switch to monk. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's like you would have to Black have Black mages can't play like, with monk. Is- you have to move. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. <That's> fair. <laughs> um, we will be getting some quality of life updates here. Um, so we'll have forced boss room entry. So a pop will give you the option. Live letter over, by the way. This is a different oh, yeah, thing. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. A pop. A pop up will give you the option to enter the boss arena if you've been locked out. This is cool. Yeah. yeah. This feature is unavailable if you're already inside the boss room and you return. It's a starting point after being gay. Oh, this is so good. Yeah. Yes, That's this great. is so nice. Oh, no. Whoops. Somebody was, you know. Oh, great. Some The bard pulled again. <laughs> and I can't fight. Well, now you can. Yeah. So if you were hoping that maybe if I just walk a little slower, maybe I'll get locked out and I can go make a sandwich. Nope. Not gonna, and not everybody work knows anymore. that you all you have to do is hit the button, Every so time. you better show up. Everybody yeah. knows. Um we're going to get a unique marker for pets. Looks like a little heart. That is not the feeling that I have for my pet. <laughs> <laughs> you're a terrible, terrible summoner. I, I like this, though, because uh, so often you're like, who is sitting at the beginning of the dungeon? They need to get their ass yeah. over. Oh, it's Celine. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no you won't do that anymore. You expect me to heal? What are you doing oh. over there? Oh yeah, that's probably what they're fixing. I just thought about what they're fixing with the pets, and it's um, the tether thing leaves the pet where it was, and if you go too far mm-hmm. away, it summons. Like they're probably going to deal with that. I would oh. say. Could be. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Specifically for scholar, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but only yeah. only Eos though, not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Um, improved Savage content warning. There's going to be an additional pop-up that'll tell you that you're going to lose out on loot um, in case you blindly click yes on the first one. Okay. So it's like, you only get one chest. Are you sure? Yes. Are you really sure? Are you sure? <laughs> I have so much actually You're clicked through the myself. first one before, <laughs> yeah. but I was aware that I was yeah, going to do it, so it didn't really. Yeah. Uh, prioritor- uh, prioritizing best thing, best thing. for own party members. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is, I think, from Eureka. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, in 14, we limit the amount of characters and objects that are displayed at once to prevent stress load on the client. Because of this, until now, until now, mm-hmm. uh, there have been many... Uh, situations where you couldn't even see characters that were standing right next to you if you were in a crowded area. So, like, you know, if you're in Eureka and you're standing next to the other 143 people and uh, you're like, man, you know, I would love to raise or heal this party member, but I can't... Can't find you, sorry. Yeah, now you're out of... Yeah, you're out of range, but I don't know in which direction... What what happened? Yeah, where are you? Um, You're standing on top of me. You're on my screen. Well, you're not on mine, so you're going to stay on the ground. Right. I so, hope that this also fixes the phasing of the boss too. So like prioritize yeah. my party and the boss. I don't care about mm-hmm. those other people. That's fine. Yeah. Well, and, well, and like, if I recall, that was something that they had done a while ago too when um, Hunt and M started. They had to prioritize yeah. those, and and that was kind of because of that. It was really surprising that it wasn't a thing already when Eureka started. It's like yeah. mm-hmm. we've been through this already. Yeah. One of the things right. that like is for players going in that has helped me is that I've turned basically off because you can on the graphical settings turning that down on everybody yeah. makes it so much easier to see the boss and what's going on yeah. um i put it as me i want to see it party limited and then everybody else i don't want to see it and i was oh there's a boss there and not just fire just going off like da, da, da. yeah that was Same. something i did too the first, first day doing the, the nm train i'm like i can't see anything yep it's just it's all i did anime. that in uh turn eight with the the tree guy avatar because oh, yeah. so much fire and crap was going off, so I couldn't see the tether that I specifically had to get as Bard to take away from everybody else. So that's yeah. been on there for a long time. <laughs> a crazy. Long time. Long. Yeah. All right. We have announcements before we close off the show here. Uh, we've got some album releases coming up. Obviously, uh, the Primal's first album is going to be dropping this month. Uh, the 16th in Japan, or it's towards the end of the month if you order it from the Square Enix online store, which I do not recommend, because yeah. uh, you can get it cheaper and quicker elsewhere. Um, the Stormblood OST, <laughs> this is this is finally coming out. Uh, this will hit uh, stores on July 4th. I love that. Uh, yeah. Freedom! Liberation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Um, well, that's the, the Japanese release date, though, right? Oh. Or is that the... I don't know. That's presumably the, the Japanese release ah, date. Either way. Uh, which means for us, it'll probably be like the end of July if you order it from Square. Um, it's 50 bucks because it is on a Blu-ray, um, and there will be a bonus in-game code. We don't know what the item's going to be yet, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, in L.A., the Eorzean o- Symphony is uh, coming up here June 15th and 16th, uh, the two days after E3 at the Dolby Theater. Um Apparently, if you come dressed in cosplay on the 16th, you'll be allowed to walk the red carpet before the special guests. That's kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> so if you're going to the concert on the 16th, there you go. Um, I think both concerts might be sold out already. I'm not sure. I know the 15th yeah. was. Um, so it check is, it out. Uh, yeah. We'll be there. Uh, well, I'll be there with, with a couple other people from Gamerscape on the 15th. Um, looking forward to that. Um, and then, of course, the second concert they're doing is going to be in Dortmund, Germany on August 24th and 25th. So if you That's um, the concert yeah. house. There you go. <laughs> uh, E3, it's coming. Mm-hmm. My my inbox has informed me of that this week. <laughs> um, we will be at E3. Um, they will be doing a Screenix E3 showcase uh, June 11th at 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, that's just going to be a stream. They're going to just announce some stuff that they're doing. Uh, fingers crossed for Avengers, since we haven't talked about Avengers enough. Um, <laughs> letter from the producer live. Score right. Enix is building the Avengers. Like you know, they're they they partnered up well, with if, Marvel. If yeah. you look, this if, if an you, announcement from a while If you've yeah. seen the Shadow of the Tomb Raider trailer, you'll notice that um, it's not being developed by Crystal Dynamics. It's EDOS in partnership with Crystal Dynamics because Crystal Dynamics is working on Avengers. 
Yeah, so like, yeah, it was announced. It's been like a while since we've heard years. anything. And so they've been, yeah, yeah. It's, we haven't heard much. All and I'm hoping, issues. I'm hoping that we can see the like how they've done with the 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 cinematic universe, being able to have some kind of that that Dude, game yeah. continuity yeah. and have these games. And the thing that I, I'm hopeful is that just like they did with Goldeneye on the N64, where the, the game came out like a long time after the movie. Mm-hmm. You can have like, hey, we can play through these stories, you know, that have already been done. We don't have to. Gaming, uh, the, the the big issue I've always had with uh, games and movies is they try to release them at the same time. Oh, this yeah. movie, you played the game. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, just do the movie and then take your time with the game. Yeah. You know? well, I think, and, and this is all independent from the movies as well, I believe. It's its yeah. own you know, it's like a game universe, basically. It's not yeah, and, and that's I'm fine, too, like if it's its own game yeah. universe. But they, I don't think they need to launch with the Infinity War. Just start it back. You know, take your time. No, but Go they on. should announce it while the hype is... They should reveal oh, yeah. a little oh, bit. Oh, totally, 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 totally. You know, don't on, let man. Fortnite be the only game tie-in, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, Letter from the Producer Live at E3 is going to be June 12th at 11 a.m. Uh, so they'll be doing that at the booth there. Um and you'll be able to watch that online. Uh, it will be uh, in English as well because it's being done from LA, so they're going to be doing mm-hmm. it. Um, we don't know who's doing interpretation. Uh, it could be Aimee, could be Koji. Um, the Primals are touring uh, it, over the next couple of months, but there is a break during E3, so I don't know. I would presume that means Koji's coming. I don't know for sure. Yeah, Keep an eye out for that. Um, oh, he's a rock star, you know. Who knows? <laughs> He is, yeah. He might, he might want to rest his voice while, yeah. uh, while he's got that break there. Um, fan Fest details, they did reveal a little bit more information for Europe. Uh, before we knew it would be somewhere in France. Now uh, they've confirmed uh, that EU is going to be February 2nd and 3rd at the La Grande Hall de la Villette uh, in Paris. Maybe that's why we're not in the Paris Hotel. I wonder, yeah. Because <laughs> you can't go from Paris to Paris. Like, that's weird. Paris to Paris. I feel, I feel like that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> Paris or, or and this everything year. to do with the staff that they had. Yeah. This, year, exactly. this year in Paris, Texas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, my gosh. I've been there. I just oh wish it wasn't uh, at the Rio. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, back Rio, to the strip. of course. NA gets yeah. to go first again, uh, November 15th through the 17th at the Rio. Uh, and then Europe will be February 2nd and 3rd. And then Tokyo uh, will close it out uh, March 23rd and 24th. One year we'll go like second or third. So we'll get to know the jobs. Yeah. I just, I want a job. I just, <laughs> I don't want a shirt. I want I don't a job. Want Yoshida talking about his favorite superhero movie directors. I want. An actual Honk. job. I don't want to yeah. be teased with a thing that may or may not be interpreted as a dancer. Yeah. I just give it to us straight. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but, yeah. Let's see. So I got, I got a want. question as it relates to E3 for Square Enix. Um, and do you think we're going to finally see uh, 11 mobile? Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yoshi P, even Yoshi P commented on it like <sighs> January. Man. Yeah. Maybe I don't. I mean, I mean to be fair, he only commented on it because he was actually asked about it. <laughs> well, he knows about it. Yeah, he definitely. Yeah, does know. yeah. I, I feel like it's probably still going to be sort of. I don't think we're going to see a lot of seven remake stuff either. Yeah, I don't think so. seven remake. I think it's still twenty twenty. Is my yeah. is my, is what I've been saying. At least time. I think I think they'll be uh, they'll be pushing Kingdom Hearts three. Yeah. 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 Uh, there will be a new uh, a new battle challenge for the primal in four point three. Mm-hmm. Um, they good. say it's the, the it's the secret one that's supposedly in yeah is you know that's I feel I, f- I feel like it's like probably like Xenos or something could be um, I feel like that's the fight <laughs> I don't yeah. know well it's like yeah. but not as a as an instance thing we fought Shinryu the, I'm the just curious guy. though it's like if they would bring him back just so quick for us to fight I mean you yeah. know I don't know we need I mean, to see it's like Thornton, I guess. But is it really know? even him? It's probably just the Asian. Yeah, I mean they. Or they or, or maybe the fight is against Gaius because he's back. <laughs> I mean the way that they say primal <laughs> is weird, you know. Like That's, I don't. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. The weirdest thing that I saw out there somewhere and on the internet was uh, Yotsuyu as Ashura because she has multiple faces and like that mirror is like a primal summoning thing, and I'm like. That is out there and cool, but I don't know. That'd be weird. We need to see. She for does sure. seem I don't, like she's I don't the important one this time that. around. Exactly. 
Yeah, I don't yeah. dislike that either. I, I'm just like, that's really out there. Like, if that's it? Asura. Yeah, huh. like, okay. But that I don't even remember where I saw it. I want to give credit to whoever this was with, with this idea, but I don't even remember where I saw it. Yeah, I mean, because she was, she was featured pretty heavily in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's like, not to mention the, like uh, the patch art. It's like her yeah, face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It could be interesting know. to see, yeah, exactly mm -hmm. what what this does because it's like you know has she been faking? Is she really like coming back round? She's yeah. like the uh, the oh, gosh. Now that I started talking, I can't remember the the character that almost looks like her in fifteen. Oh, uh, oh yeah, it's Gen it's Gianna. that thing. Gen yeah, Gianna. yeah, where she's actually she Asura was. this whole time. Maybe well, maybe that's what they'll do. Yeah, it could. Wow, wow. That'd be interesting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so shout out to random internet person who said that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see what actually happens. Who knows? Yeah. Looking forward to that now. Um, so that is it on our outline. Uh, did anybody else have anything that they wanted to add? Mm. I don't think so. Nope. Uh, I'm just hyped for E3. Yeah. E3. Yeah. This patch, the Gaius, Gaius patch, yeah, <laughs> four point three, Gaius. Someone needs, to, someone needs to shop the under the moonlight to be Dalamud, and then like have Gaius's face instead. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh. Well, we don't. Yeah, and that's that's see that's the other thing that that gets me excited because it's it's not not Gaius right, right. like it's got to be Gaius. Someone but said Balthier. I'm like you're just saying that because of the voice that you heard. Because it did. I um, yeah, like Gideon somebody said Balthier. I'm like, go away. Like, I don't <laughs> yeah. know who you are, but you're no. <laughs> Get out of no. here. You I have mean, no idea. Ba the thing Balthier is cool, do. but that is a gunblade, not a gun. That's yeah. a very specific gunblade. Exactly. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. It's just like I. So I, I saw that Reddit thread. I'm like looking through oh, yeah. people's reactions. I'm like, okay, you're dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. I love everyone. But some people's thoughts on things are questionable. Um, yeah. So that'll do it. Uh, patch 4.3 coming up on the 22nd here. Um, we are still figuring out exactly when we're going to do the show for that, but it will be within a couple weeks of that for sure. Um, E3 is coming up. Look forward to our coverage. We will uh, be doing a lot of stuff, not just Square Enix stuff, so keep an eye out for that, gamerscape.com. Um, and if you would like to get in contact with us, you can email us. Eighth right radio at gamerscape.com. You can what? Us, what are you pointing? Him or him or him, him or me. What? <laughs> what? Us. If you'd us. like to contact us, and so she was pointing at us. Oh <laughs> it is a Brady Bunch thing. Wow. <laughs> we need we need an Alice in the middle here. Just mm -hmm. I guess that's the other one. Gaius. Um you can uh, tweet it at, at us, uh eighth right radio. Uh, you can find us on Facebook at Gamer Escape, and you can also join us on our Discord at discord.gg slash Gamer Escape. Thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, enjoy the patch, and we will be back here uh, towards the end of the month. To tell you how we feel. So tell us how <laughs> you feel, and we'll tell everybody how we all feel. <laughs> Together. Together. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Awkward. A very special episode. Of mm -hmm. It's 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 finally it's at one episode one thirteen the musical podcast. <laughs> <laughs> finally, we finally made our musical happen. Okay. I'm excited. That's happening next time. I'm singing the whole time. Oh, okay. I'm down. Wow. I mean, if you ever raid with me, you know I do that anyway. Yeah, that's true. If you raid, if you raid, <laughs> Brian's in. Come on, yep. you can do this. Oh, I'll be the base. Wow. Maybe yeah. I won't be around for this episode. I don't oh. know. I don't know if I can do this. That's okay. <laughs> healers, adjust. That was quick. adjust. Healers, adjust. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just chime in at the end. Guys came back and it was great. <laughs> Told you also. But then he left and it was sad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We are true. Thank everybody. Uh, we are true. We're good. Bye. All right. <laughs> Should I? Can I, can I hit this button? Yeah. yeah. Do or, it. All right. Here we go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Save the file.
<laughs> time is uh, it's too early to host. Like, let's try to 